What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And just a few moments ago, the Call of Duty League made a massive announcement. Now, of course, if you don't watch esports, the Call of Duty League is the professional Call of Duty scene. Um, I thought this was pretty wild, but they did announce today. Uh, of course, the day is the first official day of the start of the 2021 season. If you know, like uh, anyone that is a free agent or anything like that can sign with teams. Players can re-sign contracts. But they did announce... The pro team competition will be moving to PC plus controller beginning with the 2021 season. This means that all pro matches will be played on PC and all pro players must use a league approved controller of their choice. It says, as part of this transition, Call of Duty League competition will maintain exclusive use of controllers for the upcoming season. This will change from uh, this change provides players with the expanded choice of controller, allowing them to select a league approved controller and style that works best for them. It goes on to say if you play in the challengers uh, scene for the first time in Call of Duty Esports history, competitors will be able to compete online in Call of Duty challengers on their platform of choice across pla uh, course across console and PC. It did say if any LAN event for challengers is held, they will all be play uh, played on PC plus controller. This is a massive move in my opinion. It almost sounds like eventually they're going to go just straight keyboard and mouse. Um, which is kind of sad in my opinion because like competitive console esports is kind of a dying thing. Most everything that's competitive play is played on PC. I was expecting this to happen at some point if you want me to be honest, but I kind of hate to see it happening. The one thing I think is really good about this is I think we will see the end of exclusive like content for particular consoles in the future in Call of Duty games. Because as you know, in the past several years, either the content's either been on Xbox or uh, PlayStation just depending on what Call of Duty decided to go with that year. And it seemed, in my opinion, that that kind of tailored around what the pro scene was going to be playing on. So I think that's a good thing just for the game as a whole. But like I said, I am kind of disappointed to see the whole console kind of esports scene die off a little bit more. Uh, the one thing I think the pro players will be really excited about, of course, a lot of them are really unhappy with the situation when they're playing LAN events that Bluetooth kind of interferes with PlayStation controllers and it will give their controllers lag and things like that. I think that will be improved when they play on PC, you know, with a controller. I also think, of course, you know, field of view, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a lot smoother experience for them, but it's also very interesting that they decided to do this. And it's also kind of very interesting how they worded that, that they will be using controllers on PC for this year. Like I said, I'm, assu I'm assuming it will move to mouse and keyboard permanently before long. I also find it interesting that the Challengers uh, series will be allowed to be played on any platform that you want. It'll be cross-play. Uh, of course, a lot of those tournaments are online, so I think that's going to be an interesting concept to exactly figure out you know, how they're going to make all that work out. I know some people will be worried about cheaters and that kind of thing. That's going to be a whole uh, kind of uh, its own can of worms when that all starts. I'm also interested to see how this is going to work with the league in general because as you guys know this year with the whole COVID-19 situation, most pro leagues got moved from LAN events to all online events. I'm not sure how that will work uh, for Call of Duty or any really esport. I'm not sure exactly how they manage that. Because when it comes to LAN events, of course, the league will s supply the PCs that they will be playing on. When it comes to online events, I know almost all of these pro players, you know, stream and things like that. So they have really nice computers. But at the same time, I'm not sure how they're going to figure out exactly you know, what specs you need or if there's going to be certain rules or, or anything for that kind of, you know, opportunities, I guess, for people to have different specs and things on their PCs. I'm not sure if there's going to be rules that say you have to have this, this, or this. I'm not sure if it's online, how exactly all that's going to work out. But I just wanted to make, make a video let you guys know that that is a big move, in my opinion, for Call of Duty uh, Esports. I know I don't do a lot of Esports news here on the channel, even though I'm a massive fan of all different types of Esports. I started out watching Halo and, and Call of Duty and just kind of went from there. And I even watched things like League of Legends, Dota. I just really like watching competitive esports in general. But I thought it was a massive move for uh, Call of Duty just kind of overall to go to PC plus controller. And like I said, I think it will be a smoother experience. I think it'll be a more enjoyable to watch, in my opinion, even because of the movement. And just this the different visuals you can get with PC. But leave me a comment, guys. If you're an esports fan, let me know what you think about this. Are you happy to see this happening? I know change is odd and it's kind of weird. Uh, it's going to be strange to see these guys playing on PC and not on console anymore. And like I said, I was kind of sad to see the console kind of esports scene start to die off a little bit more from game to game. It seems like it's happened uh, in, in several games over the last several years. 
But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, mice, keyboards, uh, mouse pads, all kind of stuff to fit your gaming needs, no matter if you're a console player or a PC player. So give them a look if you have a chance, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.